10,000 year old skeleton shows that the first modern bricks had dark skin. The skeleton was found in a cave near Cheddar Gorge in the UK. The core conditions of the cave kept the DNA of the so-called Cheddar Man intact, so we were able to find a good level of genetic information out of him. And using that, we were able to figure out that he belonged to a population of people that moved into Europe and eventually Britain from the near, possibly the North Near East. Scientists compare Cheddar Man to the genetic makers of modern-day Europeans. Cheddar Man is the oldest nearly complete skeleton ever found in Britain. A DNA sample from a 10,000 year old skeleton discovered near Cheddar Gough Cave near Cheddar Gorge, England. Office of Revelation, the modern, the first British modern people had dark brown, dark brown to black skin. According to recent analysis, they had dark black curly hair, blue eyes, in other words, whiteness in Europe is a much newer thing than we thought. The so-called Cheddar Man was a hunter, gatherer, during the Mesolithic period, which ended in just before the appearance of the agriculture. While Britain was populated and abandoned by humans during early periods, archaeologists think that humans lived on the island continuously from the Cheddar Man's time through to present day. This has meant that makes the details that his appearance are so meaningful. Cheddar Man's genome. Cheddar Man Europeans didn't develop pale skin till a few thousand years ago, more than tens of thousands of years ago, when humans first migrated west into the European continent. Cheddar Man subverts people expectations in what kinds of genetic trails go together. He reminds us that I can't, we can't make assumptions about what people look like in the past based on what people look like in the present. And the paint pairings of features we use to see today aren't something that's fixed. Dr. Tom Booth, archaeologist from the National History Museum in London. The National History Museum and University College London collaborated in recent research. The findings of the process of findings will be featured in an upcoming documentary. First Brit Secrets of a Ten Thousand Year Old Man. The process is particularly fascinating since recent advance in DNA sequences technology made it possible for scientists to piece together scientific de- specific details that Cheddar Man looked like. The skeleton itself is older, it's near complete human skeleton that ever discovered in Britain. It's, though it studied for over a century after being earthed in 1903. Oh, the cool conditions in the Gough Cave was excellent for keeping DNA intact. A sample pulled from the bone dust extracted from the Cheddar Man skull by the scientists with full genome enabled them to reconstruct the eyes of Cheddar Man's face as well as cover the colour of his skin, eyes and hair. Based on the shape of the skull, a team of modern makers reconstructed Cheddar Man's face with a 3D printer. The reconstruction bus shows an early human that looks similar to the parents of paralytic Africans. This suggests that the population moved from Africa through the Middle East, then across Europe into Britain, thanks to Dogland, Dogland Bridge, which connected the continent to the island during the time Cheddar Man was alive. Scientists say the DNA from Cheddar Man population may be linked to about 10% to genetic makeup of modern Europeans. The historical perspective you can get just tells you that things change, things are in flux, and may seem as cemented truth. The people feel that Britain should have been white skinned through time. It's not always something that's an unreadable truth. Dr. Jon De- Deckerman, University College in London. Till recently, it's always assumed that humans quickly adapted to have pale skin and entering Europe about 45,000 years ago. Pale skin is better than absorbing UV light and helps humans avoid vitamin D deficiency in climate with less sunlight. However, the rise of architecture meant a change of diet and lifestyle for humans in Europe, perhaps because they wasn't eating as much vitamin D, rich protein like fish. Humans adapted to cloudy environments in areas like Britain, Scandinavia, developing lighter skin that could help them produce more vitamin D. 
Skin colour, in other words, was just as much a result of country changing conditions and lifestyle as even migrating from one part of the world to another. 